Boy, we are having fun with all these long vowels, right? So we did long E the other day. Now we're gonna look at a different way to spell long E. We did the E in the middle with the E at the end. But now there's another way. It's E-A. Look at these words here. So we're gonna start with a short E word. If you look right there, you see bed. B -e -d. Aren't those getting easy now? Love that. That didn't used to be easy, but now it is. Now look over here. There we have the word bead. B -eed. And it has an E-A in the middle. Okay. Now let's look at the bottom over here. I see a net. N -e -t, net. Over here though, look at those shirts. They're folded so nice and neat. N -e -t, neat. Whenever you see that E-A in the middle of that word, get your mouth ready to say the E sound, that long E sound. When you see just one E, like those two words, you're just gonna say the shorty eh sound. Good job, we're getting good at this, aren't we? You're not gonna believe this. Now I'm gonna show you two new ways to do the long E sound. What? How can there be so many ways to make long E? Well, there is, so here we go. Ready, when we look over here, we see when there's an E all by itself in a one syllable word and the E is at the end. That's the key. It's one syllable. The E is at the end. There's no other vowel in that word. And then we're gonna say the E sound. Now these actually turned out to be pretty easy because some of these are sight words and we learn them really well. Okay, when you look over here, let's read those words from the top. We have we, he, she, be. Okay, read through them one more time, ready, go. He sounded really good. Now look over here. Okay, now over here, do you see there's two E's? So we're gonna say E if there's an E-A, and we're gonna say E if there's two E's together. Okay, ready? B, E, B, for E, free, D, Eep, deep, and get the blend, full, eep, sleep. Okay, read through those one more time. Now we're going to practice reading some of these words as they come up. Look for those e a's, e e's, and e all by itself at the end of a short little word. Here we go. Ready? We have. I see B, E, B, and get the blend, fur, E, free. Next one, E, E in the middle, F, E, T, feet. Hope you don't have stinky feet. <laughs> get the blend, full, E, D, E, P, deep. Okay, this next one, it's so short. Look at that word. He, and the next one's short too. If you know he, you know we. The last one has that WH, so don't say wah, huh. just say wah. Look at this. Wah, E, O, wheel, like you drive the steering wheel. For this next part of our lesson, we have to really pay attention to syllables. That's the parts in the words. Now we're gonna clap them out. Ready? I want you to clap some words for me. Clap the word rabbit. Rabbit. Two syllables. Clap the word picnic. Picnic. Two syllables. How about basket? Basket. And one more. Puppet. Puppet. Did you notice how they all have two syllables? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna teach you a way to look at those words and find the chunks that you can read really well. 
when we are reading words and we try to figure them out, we want to look for chunks. I know a little song goes like this. Look for chunks, look for chunks, small parts of words, small parts of words. I could keep singing, but let's go ahead and get to these words and look for chunks. We're going to find those syllable chunks. Now that we've practiced hearing the two syllables, let's look at a way that we can read them easily. Now, here we have the word rabbit, and it's a bit of a longer word. What I want you to start training your brain to be able to see and do is to look for the smaller chunks. Here, when we clap out rabbit, we have rab bit. If you look, you have a small syllable at the beginning, rab, that's easy to sound out, and bit, which is easy to sound out. It helps you see the word rabbit so much easier. Clap it out, rab bit. You see those two parts, and the syllable break happens right between the Bs. Let's look at another one. Here, we have a longer word. Let's do the first syllable. Looking right here. Plas, plas, tick. All of a sudden, a long word becomes short when we see plas, tick, plastic. Look for that place where you can break the syllable and get the parts of the word. Look for chunks. Let's look at another one. Can you read the first syllable? That's right, pick. Can you read the next syllable? Nick. The word is pick, nick. And the syllable break happens right after the C. How about this one? Can you read the first syllable? Bass. Can you read the second syllable? Cat. Cat. Basket. You read the big word basket just by looking for those chunks. The syllable break happens right after the S. Here we go. Look at the first part. Nap. Look at the second part. Kin. You just read the word nap. Kin right there. And the syllable break happens right after the P. You're doing great. Last one. Can you try this one on your own? Start here. Down there. Did you just say puppet? That's right. Puppet. And you just read that big word by breaking it into syllables. Look for those kinds of words. When you're reading your books, you're going to see them all over the place. On this next part, we're going to practice high frequency words. As I come across the screen, try to say them before I do. I'm going to go through one time where you practice with me, and then they're going to come a second time and see if you can say them on your own. The more you practice, the faster you get. Little The Work For They Many Under My was old now they together. Thank you.